by Herford to the net. We shoot down the sideline, and uh, really that ball was going to be out, but was tipped by Decatur, so point Lady Whiteface is to start the night. Little quick set from Rainey Avon to Tatum Stowe, a matchup that's been fine. 1-0 one, one -oh here, just underway. Herford again with the serve. Takes it to the uh, back corner on the near side. Played up. St shot from the 10-foot uh, line. Back set for the white faces, and we take it all the way to the back line and place it down in. So 2-0. Uh, Blair on Hit. the outside that time. Had to take a pass from way across the court and put it on the back line. Miranda Acosta serves the third one for the White Faces. This one will be long. Point to Cater. That will make it two to one. Herford tonight in their white jerseys with maroon numerals and black skins, while the Cater will be in gray jerseys, white numerals, and blues trim. Set far side to Stowe. Picked up by the Cater. Comes net too long. Herford's playing it. Go to Blair again. Played by the Cater. They come to the near side, miss set, freed it up. Stowe, far side, off the middle blocker of the cater will be point Lady Whitefaces. Whitefaces with a early three to one lead. Decatur trying to stir, serve to Stowe, trying to get her out of system just a little bit. Nice pass to Tatum. Rainey Avon serves it up, played by Decatur, comes to the near side, cross court, picked up by Acosta. Quick set, Stowe dinks it over, but uh, Decatur's there to play it. They go back set and place it right down the line. Bonnie uh, tried to make a dig on it and just couldn't quite get to it. Decatur has got a really big right side hitter blocker. She's a great blocker and she's a great hitter too. That time ripped the line. Three to two. Decatur serves it from the right to left. Set, back set for Cameron. Decatur can't handle it then it'll be point lady white faces. Blair with, a, with an A, quick step in the back of the setter off a of service received that time. Good job. Decatur not expecting that swing from the right side. Emma Jones now serving for the uh, white faces. Takes it down the near side, almost gets an ace, but then we come up with a big play by Bonnie Viejo with a little dink. Pass goes across high. Bonnie just sweet blocks it down for the score. Jones serves again, takes it to the uh, middle row, back line. And oh, called Bonnie across the net that time. The pass again was was on the, uh, I thought it was on the plane of the net, but not called that way. So for Decatur, Gentry Lomanrod will uh, serve, brings it to the back row, back set to Stowe, right down the line, and a nice Boom. kill for uh, Tatum right there. Nice pass that time to the setter. A little A again in the back. Tatum stole straight down the line for the kill. So we've gone to that uh, twice now. Is that something that you think uh, McCrack, oh. Coach McCracken saw? Oh, absolutely. Tatum? Absolutely. So Tatum back row. Decatur plays it up, brings it to the middle. We dig it. Nice save. We'll free it back over. Back to Decatur. They will set at the near antenna. Takes it cross court to the back line, and it's in. Nice shot, 6-4. Lady Whiteface's lead here in the early going of game one. Of course, best of three. The Canyon Lady Eagles advanced in a four-game match over Graham earlier. Would you call that an upset, Coach? Or? I think so. I mean, I know sometimes the rankings when you get up at this point don't mean a whole lot, but uh, nice job by Canyon. And a serve by Decatur. It was tipped by Lady Whitefaces. That'll be a point. Decatur cuts the lead to one. Six to five from the far back corner. We play it on the far side. Quick set again. Dink it over by Watley. And there we have uh, Lacey Davis with a nice little tap at the net. Good tip that time by Watley. Led to a dig that was on the plane of the net, and Lacey Davis just went up, saw an opening, threw it over there. Served by the White Faces. Palacios played by Decatur, middle of the net, right into the block by Watley, and point Lady White Faces, eight to five. Oh, stuffed by Watley. <laughs> you man. liked that, didn't oh, you? Oh, that's pretty. 
Palacio serves again, takes it deep. It's a little too strong and will be out eight to six now. Uh, White faces lead by two. Trinity Van Zant will serve for Decatur. Takes it deep, played by the White faces in the middle to Watley. Perfect. And again, we just sneak it inside the back line. Point Lady White faces nine to six. I can't even explain how smart that just was. She dropped her elbow, punched it just to the back line instead of taking a big swing. Bonnie Vieo now serves for the Lady White faces. Misplayed on the back row. Decatur frees it over. We'll take it near side. Over to the far antenna. Cameron Blair with the kill, but it's blocked up. And uh, White faces are able to play it back and score. Lady Whiteface is now up 10-6. to six. Three straight points. I was talking earlier, this is a game of, uh, of streaks, isn't it, Coach? Oh, indeed. Ooh. Played up at the net, falls back over to the Whitefaces, and we can't quite get control of it. That'll be uh, point Decatur. Makes it now 10-7. to seven And kills that three-point streak we were on. Kaylee, or excuse me, Helton will serve for the Eagles, and it's long point. Lady White faces 11 7. Nice job in the back there by Miranda Acosta. She runs that backcourt for the Lady White faces. And Acosta will serve it up. Played at the middle of the net, right into the block. And what they call there, coach? I think they call Tatum Stowe for going across with a block on the set. If she didn't touch anything, I don't understand why that's a concern. Eagle. And that I think the down official is going to ask about that at perhaps between sets. 11-8. Back row. Set middle of the net to Blair. Goes into the block. Decatur plays it back, and the White Faces can't handle it. Cuts the lead back down to two again at 11-9 with the White Faces up. Miller serves it up. High uh, play. We go to Stowe, cross court, sneaks it right in uh, behind the 10-foot line in front of the back row defender. Four kills for Tatum Stowe so far on the evening. Rainey Avon will now serve for the Lady White Faces, going from our left to our right. Soft serve. They have to charge it hard. Uh, dug out by Helton, but uh, it's out of bounds, point Lady White faces. That was a great effort just to get there, but way to serve to an open area. Jones again, a little harder serve this time, goes back row, they'll set far, or near side antenna, and that will be uh, killed and knocked down by Trinity Van Zandt. Whew, 13. That's that big right side off the service received. 13-10, Lady White faces now lead by three. Hartman will serve for Decatur, played by Acosta, to Avon, to Stowe, back line, no one there. Peterson made an effort but couldn't get to it. That'll be a point for the White faces, 14-10. White faces need to stretch this lead out a little bit. Easier said than done, for sure. Emma Jones, low serve, and it goes into the net. Three service errors by the Lady White Faces. Gentry Lararan. Lamarond, I guess. Serve is too long. That's out. So uh, we do them a favor. They give us an error right back. Big old Hartman is over on that right side again, waiting for the ball out of serve received. Stowe with Let's the see. serve. Takes it to the middle of the back row. Yep. Back check. They play it. There's Stowe with the dig. Up to Avon, Watley gets it over, Decatur plays it, dumps it back. We're going, we're in trouble. Oh, Rainey tried to uh, just get it into play, but it was too close to the uh, near sideline and no one was there to play it. Got a tip down on it. 15-12. Low serve, played by the white faces on the back row. We go cross court, <laughs> played by Bonnie Viejo as she brings it to the near side. And the scores. They'll roll down the tape score. 
but it, but we'll it still it. counts, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. 16 to 12, Lady White faces up by four. Serve from Palacio, soft serve, taken at the front. They'll set on the near antenna, hits the antenna and goes back. That'll be point for the Lady White faces. Extends the lead to five, 17 to 12. Palacios again. Jump serve, takes it to the middle of the back row. Lock. Back Ooh. set, yeah. bar antenna. Set error. Came out with some spin on it. <coughs> Timeout by Decatur. And we'll take one as well. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Yes, I can't get used to sets, Coach. Served <laughs> by the white bases. They, Decatur brings it to the back row. They will score, make it 18 to 13. Big swing from the right side for Decatur that time out of service received. Right now, the big right side hitter, Hartman, is out. Lady white bases need to take advantage. Vinzant now serving for the Eagles. Played up by Jones. Dink it over by Rainey. Back set again, they come across court, white faces play it, Avon sets Watley at the middle of the net, and they're going to call Watley, I believe, in the net. Yeah, we've got to get the ball, either set the ball a little bit higher, or Watley's got to get closer, too, too low for her to get to. 18-14, then Zamp, soft floater to the near side, Avon sets behind her, and it's out. Nice little shot right there by, I believe that was Bonnie. 18-15. Again, take it to the uh, far side on the back row. We set Watley on the far side into the block. White faces play it. Try to take it into the open space at the 10-foot line. Cross court again, dug out by Acosta. Avon to... The, the Ajo, and I believe it's a little too strong and out yep, just on out the back again. line. 18-16. So what was at one point a six-point lead has now been cut to two. White faces play it up. We'll have to free it over. Watley does that. Decatur now sets it at the middle. Goes to the far antenna. Down the line, but it's out. And I think we're calling a tip from the far corner. The ball came to the Hereford side, the left side of the court. The back official called it out, but the uh, far corner official on the right side said it was tipped, and now we're going to have a discussion here on this point. If it stands, it's 18-17. Yeah, I think it's going to stand exactly that way. Far, the, the far official is the one that made the, the linesman is the one right. that made the call. So we took a timeout, so while we discuss that, we'll just uh, keep it here. We were late in catching the break, Dylan, so um, I thought they were coming over to talk about the call, but no, they, I didn't no, see no. the it timeout. Was a ti yeah, it was a timeout yeah. by Coach McCracken. Trying to regroup here, had a big lead that just dwindled away for the Lady White Faces. And that momentum can shift fast, can yeah, it? Oh, Coach? absolutely. Van Zant serving with a one-point deficit for the Eagles. Take it on the back row. Here's Avon. She dinks it over, almost dinks it by him. It was pulled out, but uh, goes out of bounds. It'll be point. Uh, white faces 19-17, so we get our two-point lead back, and we'll wait for Bonnie to serve it up. Block, block. Right to the middle. Right into our block, and uh, came off of uh, Watley. That'll be a point for the Eagles. They cut it to one again, 
Soft serve. Aven at the net goes into the block and Decatur manages to nip it back over to the white face side and 19-19 we're tied up. White faces have led the whole game or been tied, have not trailed. We go to Blair into the block and it goes out of bounds. That'll be point lady white faces, 20 to 19. Cameron Blair's really made a living off of hitting off big outside blockers. Served up by Acosta. They out. bring it to the uh, near side cross court, but it's out. Point for the Lady White Faces. We have the uh, two point lead back. Miranda serves it up again. Played by Decatur. Near side at the antenna into the block. Tapped back by Tatum Stowe. Oh. And Decatur found a soft spot in the back row and was able to sneak it in. 21 20. Yeah, that's a diggable ball. Lady White Faces could just run through on a pass there and uh, just caught, caught flat-footed. Miller with the serve. Haven with the set, cross court to Stowe into the double block. But it goes out of bounds and will be point Lady White Faces, 22. So six kill on the evening. Rainy Haven to serve. Need some scores here if you're a white face fan. Avon on the corner Rock. near side. Again, a little uh, soft spot on the front row. Avon goes to the middle to save it and hits it right into the back of Miranda Acosta. A little miscommunication right there, 22-21. Peterson will serve for the Eagles. Played in the middle, Avon quick set to Stowe. She drops it over, played up by uh, Decatur. I thought that was going to hit the floor. We'll try it again. Go to Stowe. She goes the opposite way. Instead of going to the right this time, Tatum went left and was able to put it down. Go, her. 23-21. Emma Jones serving. Line drive served. Play by the Eagles. Back set. Far antenna. And it's tipped by the white faces, but it goes out of bounds. 23-22. We need a score off serve, receive. Best front row for Decatur up now. Grinchy serves for Decatur. Here's Avon with a quick set to the near side into the block from Stowe. We play it up. Stowe goes left side, and they come to the antenna again. Nice block by the white faces there. That was uh, Stowe and Lacey Davis. But blocked out of bounds, so ah. it's point Decatur. 23-23. I was watching the block and missed where it went. So we're tied up late in game one. Costa gets it. Quick back set. Stowe goes left side, and I think that's out. Yep. 23-24, and I believe that is the first lead. We've got a timeout. We'll be back with more Lady Whiteface Volleyball on KPAN in 30 seconds. Lady Eagles of Decatur lead the Lady White Faces 24-23 in game one. Serve it from our right to our left. Acosta plays it up. We get it back across, and Decatur misplays it. The White Faces uh, stay alive. Bonnie Viejo gets the point, and we're tied 24-24 with Tatum Stowe now at the service line. He takes it right to the middle of the back row. Back set, far antenna, into the block. They say we tipped it, goes out of bounds. That'll be point for Decatur. Hartman again, the six-foot junior, a right side player. Man, she is a force to be reckoned with. She's not just a blocker. She's a great offensive player as well. 25-24, we got to score this one. Right at the net, we go to 
Bonnie and get it down on the back line inside. That's a point for the Lady White Faces. We tie it back up 25-25. Bonnie's second kill of the evening. Four ties tonight. Rainey Abe in the setter up on the front row now. She'll be an offensive opportunity. Drop. Drop it in pretty softly. Back set. Far antenna. Bring it across. Played by the White Faces. Set by Rainey, far side to Viejo, and it's in. 26-25, White Faces lead. Palacios will serve again. Going for the set point here. Near side, they dink it. We dig it out, get it over. Now uh, Decatur passes it uh, over our defense where we had nobody and we tied up 26-26. Four off a serve receive here. Brings it back across. The serve is out. Oh, we called it in. I'm sorry. 27 or 26-27 now. Decatur leads. This is Vinzant serving for Decatur. Brings it to the middle front row. Play it back. Viejo cross court. It's out. And that will be uh, set number one. Decatur will take the uh, first one, 28-26. We'll be back with more Lady White Face volleyball in 90 seconds. This regional semifinal game between two uh, top-ranked uh, teams, Coach Kitten, and uh, game one or set one goes to uh, the Decatur Eagles, 28-26. Yep, uh, some serving, a few serving issues, and then a few service-received issues by the Lady White Faces. We've also uh, had two or three times where we just didn't communicate very well trying to run down some, uh, some things that we had to make some – you know, cover some ground and, and make a quick dig on. So, uh, Lady White, they just need to shore it up a bit. I'm telling you, find a way to block the big number two, Dakota Hartman, the six-foot junior on the right side. Easy she to fix, tough. though, right? Nothing that we... Well, it's absolutely, it's fixable, but it's not, she won't make it easy on you, right. for sure. Okay. For sure. Decatur, again, uh, comes in. I think with, uh, let me see, I'll find my note, two losses on the uh, year. No, excuse me, they are 27 and 1. Uh, number four ranked, again, the white faces are 24 and 1. They come in ranked number three. The Lady Eagles of Canyon upset uh, Graham tonight in the uh, first match here in Childress. Here's the serve of uh, set two. We're underway. Watley to the back row, and it's going to be uh, too strong. First point of the night will uh, go over to Decatur. Set 
serve coming from our right to our left. Far antenna, the Blair drops it over, played by Decatur to the near antenna. Nice block by Rainey Avon, and Decatur can't uh, come off the block, so we're tied at one apiece. Rainey up strong on the solo block, trying to tip across. Serving is Miranda Acostas. Play it near side again. Decatur uh, tries to kill on the back row, but it's too strong and it's out. So again, an early lead for the Lady Whitefaces. This is what we did in set one. Ooh. Served to the back row. Hit way up high near the rafters. Uh, they'll just have to free this one over. Here's Avon with the back set near antenna. Stowe goes down the line and off the libero. Uh, point Lady Whitefaces to make it three to one. Got Stowe with eight kills so far. Seven in set number one. This will bring again Miranda Acosta to serve for the white bases. Middle back row set to the near uh, antenna. They go cross court and we misplay it and knock it out of bounds right in front of the Decatur bench. Cross court sharp shot that time by Decatur. Had to get way up high. Block had no chance. Three to two. Served by Decatur, taken at the front row. Here's Tatum, far side into the block, and uh, Decatur can't uh, play it. After they block it, it'll be point Lady White faces four to two. Rainey Avon will now go to the service line. Takes it across from our left to our right, played by the Back row corner, brings it right to the middle, dug out by the white faces, far antenna, down to Cameron Blair. She takes it down the sideline, but it's out. That'll be a point for the Eagles and pull them back within one, four to three. Good swing by Blair. Just let it cross her body a little bit. Couldn't get it back inside the line. Amaran with the serve. Laid up by Viejo, quick set, Blair, it across. Decatur comes up with it into the block, but the white faces are able to play. Go to Cameron again. We're going to have to free this one over. Lacey with a, a nice little tap. Decatur brings it up. Lacey will get it to Avon. She sets Stowe, and Stowe finds the open spot on the uh, back corner. Good job by the lady white faces staying in that point. A long point, lots of different big swings, tips, roll shots. 5-3, served by Jones, and it's going to be a service error. Point for the Lady Eagles. That cuts the white face lead back to one, 5-4. to four. Hartman, this is the player you've been talking about. Yep. Aiden, back set, Stowe taps it down the near side. Middle uh, set right into the block. Goes kind of off the uh, elbow of Tatum Stowe, and that kind of messed the the play up. Yeah, we just aren't getting a good seal on several of our blocks. That will uh, tie us up for the second time in set two. Avon set far side to Viejo. Laid up by Decatur. Set middle of the net. They try to take it uh, deep and it's out. That'll be point uh, Lady White faces. And now Tatum will serve from the middle. Gets the okay, brings it to the middle of the back row. Back set. They try to drop it in. Played up by the white faces. We'll go to the AO. Far side. It's tipped and in. So, uh, point lady white faces. Four kills on the evening so far for Bonnie, Bonnie Vallejo. So, 7 5 now. Lady white faces are up by two. We are in set two. We need this one. Get it. Good serve. And Decatur just kind of dinks it over uh, about two foot behind the 10-foot line, and we can't play it up. 7-6, point for the Eagles. Benzant will serve, far side, back set by Avon. And we uh, go to Davis into the block, but uh, goes out of bounds. It'll be point for the White Faces. Nice swing by Lacey that time. Uh -huh. The block wasn't full, but Lacey did a nice job of hitting off block. Eight to six. Served by Palacios. 
far. It's going to be two deep and another service error that will cut the lead to one, eight to seven. Oh, we just keep getting in our own way with a lot of these things. Serve from the right to the <laughs> left, and it's the long. A lot of service errors. There, there, I, there really have been. I don't know if that's nerves. I don't know if that's just the aggressiveness that both teams are trying to play with. Get up, block. Get up. We go into the block, get it back. Uh -huh. We're in the net. We missed that block. Yep. So that will cut our lead to one, nine to eight. We've stayed uh, within this two point differential of, for some time now. We've been tied twice. And Cameron Blair goes right into the block. And it comes off the white faces, point for Decatur, and we are tied up for the third time tonight at 9-9. Nine -nine. We've talked about her before. That's Hartman over there. Big block to hit against. Here's Avon. Far set to the antenna. The Blair. Oh, what a nice shot. Right down the uh, middle of the back row there, and no one was there. 10 to 9 now. Point for the white faces, and we lead by one. Costa with the serve. They'll set near side. Go down the sideline. Uh, Bonnie Viejo made a valiant attempt to dig it, but uh, no chance, and we're tied up again at 10-10. Serve Lady Eagle. Pass to Avon, quick set, middle of the net to Cameron Blair. She's on tonight. She is indeed. There's that little quick set. Just a quick set in front of the setter that time yeah. instead of behind for the score. 11 10, White Faces uh, lead with Rainey Avon now to serve, and she'll take it down the near side, played by the libero, back set, far antenna, and again they find a soft spot about five feet behind that 10 foot line. And tie it up at 11. Victory Lamarock to serve. Brings it softly across. Quick set. Avon to Tatum. Dug out by the cater, and it got way behind our uh, defense and fell just about two feet in front of the back line. No one near it. That'll be the first lead for the catering sometime. Played over, and the cater just dinks it over. That's been Zant with the uh, throw down right there. The cater leads by two, 13-11. Brings it to the near side. Avon sets it up, hits the net. So is able to play it up. Here's the set near side into the block. And again, get it behind the defense. Bonnie Viejo made a play but couldn't get there. What are we yeah, going to do here, Coach? We're not running through balls that are tipped off the block. We've got to, we've got to pursue more, and we're just staying frozen and letting some balls off the block fall that could be dug. We've got a timeout. We'll take it as well. More white face volleyball in 30 seconds. Decatur leads the White Faces 14 11. They uh, won set one. And if I can find my score sheet. 20, 28 26 for Decatur. That there, one. there you go. Yeah, lots of points are going to be scored in this match. Yep, yep. Here we go. Right to our left. Back set. We go to Cameron Blair. Decatur plays it up. Back set on the far antenna into the block and out of bounds. So that'll be a point for Decatur, and they uh, build on the lead. Now lead by four. Rainey Avon sets 
the stove. Decatur digs it out, but Barry uh, tried to go back row again, and it's too long. So we finally kill that streak of uh, five points, making it 15 to 12, close the gap to three. Cameron Blair with the serve, played by the Eagles, near antenna. Here we go. Watch stations. Here's Avon, quick set to Stowe, and it's in. There we go. We played a ball, tipped off the block in the backcourt, gave ourselves a chance. That's what we haven't been doing this match. Nice stroke right there by uh, Tatum. 11 kills for Stowe tonight. 13-15. There's the serve played by Decatur. Middle. They'll set it right there in the middle off of Avon, and no one there to play it. I think Cameron was anticipating going one way, couldn't quite uh, regain her footing to go back to the middle of the court. 16-13, Decatur leads by three. What days is Avon? Back set, Stoke goes cross court, Decatur plays it up, dips it over. Here's uh, Avon with the pass to Viejo. Decatur, middle set, comes to the near side, they go cross court, played up. Avon, pass to Viejo, cross court, and uh, Decatur can't play it. That was Viejo again. Peterson that tried to make a, a block on it, but had no luck, so we cut the uh, lead to two, 16-14. Stowe with the serve from the left to the right. Here's the cater, back step, far end tennis, takes it down, found the hole between Stowe and Avon. No block and no dig on that. Can't survive points that way. So Decatur back to a three-point lead, 17-14. Bring it again from our right to our left. Avon with the back set to Davis, and this one's going to be long. That was a touch. They, yep, they called it a tip. So point, Lady White faces 15-17. Palacios now to serve. Floats it to the far back corner. Here's the cater. This time they don't do the set. They just bring it across. Free it over. They'll go to the middle again. Back set into the block. Played by Avon. Acosta to Bonnie. Decatur, middle of the net. Come to the near antenna with the uh, set and put it down. 18-15. Decatur leads by three. Time out by Lady White Faces. We'll take one as well. More Lady White Face Volleyball on KPAN in 30 seconds. Coach Brenda Kitten, the Hall of Famer. And we have a three-point deficit in uh, set two here. Eagles lead it 18-15. They won the first set 28-26. So we really need to get something going here. Here we go. Pass to Watley. She frees it over. We come to the middle, and they put it down with a nice kill by Lamoran for the Eagles. Four-point lead now for Decatur. Ranked number four in the state. A floater played by the front row. Avon with the pass. Watley right into the block. I'm sorry, that was Viejo. We go to Avon again. Freeze it over. Played by Decatur. Set near side. Hit, and it goes back to where we have no one. Another point for the Eagles right here. Extending the lead to 20-15. to 15. Avon, back set. Viejo, played up by the libero. They come to the near antenna, cross-court shot, splits it between middle back Costa and Jones. Middle back defense is kicking our fannies. 
We are just not getting a block up to slow it down, and they're hitting dead center court. Bring it to the back row. Haven with the set to Watley. Back corner, and it's out. So a big run here for the Lady Eagles right now. I'll have it up here in just a second. But, uh, Haven brings it over near side, misplayed by Decatur. Back uh, set again, and they split back that back row again, forward. Coach. It, we are, they are putting stuff in about the back seven feet of our court, and we are not making an effort at it. Seven straight points now for Decatur. Leading 23 to 15. Middle of the back row. Set by Avon near the antenna. Vallejo cross court. And Decatur drops it over again. That's two balls that have gone high and just over on our side that our hitters and blockers haven't found. Here we go. 24-15, set two. Long serve, doesn't have, have a chance uh, on the back and way out. So 24-16, and this is really going to take some playing right here. Bonnie with the serve, middle back row. They set it just in front of the 10-foot line, laid up, passed by uh, Avon over to Blair, misplayed by Decatur. That's what we need, 17-24. Absolutely, six kill on the evening for Cameron. Viejo again. Back row, played up. They'll go with that far set to the near antenna. We get it up. Decatur plays it. We tip it. And I don't know if that ball had a chance of being in or not. It was close, but uh, the point will go to Decatur. They will win the set two, 25-17. We'll be back with more Lady Whiteface Volleyball in 90 seconds. Sure is back listening at home tonight, feeling a little under the weather. We hope he gets well soon. Absolutely. We've texted a little bit. He is definitely listening. All right. Well, uh, got our backs against the wall now. Uh, the Absolutely. Takes, takes, go no, ahead. I'm sorry. Nope. It's just tough to come back, but stranger things have happened. Plus, it's playoff volleyball. Absolutely. So back set. Here they go. Come to cross court and get it down four feet behind the 10-foot line. So uh, Decatur will take the uh, first point in set three. Lady Whiteface is out of position that time to make that dig. Serve will be by Bailey Miller. Floats it across and misplayed by Cameron Blair. So a quick 2-0 lead for the Lady Eagles of Decatur. Again, Miller floats it back row. Ball had barely any spin. Pass crossed by Avon to Stowe. 
played up by Decatur. They make a great defensive play. Aben back set to throw again. Down the line, tipped it out, and the Lady Whitefaces get a point, one to two. 12th kill for Tatum. Rainey Aben will now serve for the Lady Whitefaces from the near side, floats it across court. Here we've got the quick set, and they find the hole right at the 10-foot line. No one there. Point for Decatur, and they lead it 3-1. to one. Kaylee Peterson serving for the Eagles. Bring it across, played by Barnes. We quick set Stowe at the middle of the net. Decatur plays it, sets to the near antenna. The ale, the pass to Acosta. He will set Blair. Blair goes to the 10-foot line, played by Decatur. Back set at the far antenna, and they take it to the middle of the back row and put it away. One, four to one. Peterson will serve again. Gray jerseys for the Lady Eagles with blue trim. So at the net, miss played off the block. We'll get the point there. Two to four. And now we will have Cameron Blair serving for the Lady White Faces. Jump serve, far corner on the back row. Missed the pass. We have two girls collide, but uh, Stowe comes up with it. Again, instead of going to the right, she takes it to the left and gets a uh, kill there. One point deficit now for the Lady White Faces. Three to four. Cameron Blair. Played up again high near the Raptors. Way away behind the 10 foot line. And uh, misplayed on the step. Tied. Came off the setter's hands just a, with a little bit of spin on it. Four four. Blair again serves it. Played on the back row. Little uh, set right at the net. Comes off the tip, goes out of the back line. That'll be a point for Decatur. They lead 5-4. This is the way game two went. And then uh, after being tied at 11-11, they pulled away from us. Stowe goes uh, right into the block, and Decatur misplays it. We're tied 5-5. Five -five. 15 so far for Miss Stowe. Second uh, tie of the uh, match, or of uh, the set, excuse me. Stowe takes it to the middle of the back row, backing up. They play it. Come cross court. Aiden's there with the pass. Over to Viejo. She sees a blank spot, gets it there. A, a good effort by Lameron, but uh, misplays it, and that'll be a point uh, for the White Faces, and uh, we will uh, have our first lead of the night in this match. Set. That messes me up. I like games. Comes cross 7-5. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. So middle and drops it right in front of the libero. And so now we're getting a little life here. Hope so. We can do this. So we'll serve again from the middle of the service line to the back of the libero. Set it to the near antenna. There we nice go. play defensively by the white face. There we go. We go in, play the block, give Emma Jones credit for the dig, keeping that play alive. Nine to five, Lady White Faces. So, near sideline. There's that uh, back set for antenna. And again, they uh, put it right down in front of uh, Tatum Stowe. Point for Decatur. Nine to six. But a bit of a run for the Lady White Faces. Give us a little confidence here. That first game is going to loom large now that we uh, dropped 28-26 uh, and we just go a little deep right there. Nine to seven. <clears throat> Decatur changes it to Jones. Aven set far side to Viejo. High up into the rafters. Decatur is able to play it, but go right into the net. So point for the white faces. We extend the lead now to three, ten to seven. And 
and Palacios will now serve for the Lady White Faces. We need to get some more separation here. Cross. Little floater, not much movement on it. Quick uh, little dink by Decatur, Aven with the pass to Viejo into the block. Not played by Decatur, that'll be a point for the White Faces, 11 to seven. Bonnie's eighth kill. Palacios again to the far back corner. Tough play for Decatur. They get it Go. across. Watley quickly uh, gets it over. They set on the near side into the block nicely by the White Faces. Decatur can't play it off the block. Huge block by Watley that time. 12 7. White Faces lead. Match three. There we go. Decatur right into the net. 13-7, a nice little run for the White Faces, and Catherine Forster is going to take a timeout. We'll take it as well. Lady White Face Volleyball continues on KPAN in 30 seconds. points here to lead by six, 13 to seven. Well, I think Decatur proved it to us early in that very first set. No lead is too great on these guys. I think the thing I'm most impressed with with Decatur is just their defense, good defensive team. Here's a serve by Palacios. Quick set, middle of the net, go right at Palacios and nobody can play it. That'll be a point for Decatur. Kills the white face run, 13 to eight. And that will bring Ben Zant up to serve. Brings it across to the back corner, and it's out. A service error on Decatur. 14-8 lead now for the Lady White Faces. Here's Bonnie with the serve. Little back row. They set it near antenna. Dig by Acosta. Avon with the pass. Blair goes cross court into the block. Uh, well played by Decatur there. You just mentioned uh, they're pretty good defensively. <clears throat> yeah, I'm telling you, it is hard to hit from our strong side because their block is so good on the right. Serve to the middle of the back row. Avon sets it. Watley! Boy, she got up and took it straight down the, the line. And uh, good kill for Watley. Well, when we can get a service receive pass to target, we have been so successful on that right side. 15 to 9. <laughs> White faces lead it. At, or set three. Back set. Come cross court into the block. Nice job defensively for the Lady White faces. Dink it over. Here's Avon. Quick set to Stowe. And she puts it down right in front of uh, the 10 foot line there. 16 to 9. Lady White faces. Lead it. Match three. Set three. Excuse me. Here we go. I can't get I was used to games and I'm trying to say set. Couldn't do it. And Decatur just uh, got one by us. Yeah, again, a swing from Decatur with that without a block nor a dig from the Lady White Faces. Can't survive many of those. Miller serves it up. Here's Avon. Pass to the far antenna. Stowe. Right in to the arms of Bailey Miller, and she couldn't do anything but uh, grimace. Oh, man, that is big league right there, Stowe. 17-10. White faces have uh, taken a bit of a command here of set three. Here's the Decatur bringing it across. Acosta said Davis. She drops it just in front of the 10-foot uh, line. Nice little hole for uh, Lacey, and she puts it uh, right where she needed to. Four kills for Miss Lacey Davis. 18-10, Avon with the serve. The libero makes a dive, keeps it in play. Acosta with the pass, Avon with the set. Stowe goes into the block. And again, Decatur defensively came up with a big play. 
They trail 18-11. Kaylee Peterson will now serve for the Lady Eagles. Close to the cross. LaCosta pass Aben to Stowe. And Stowe again takes it right. 19-11 are scored. Lady White faces on top. And again, we have another timeout. This one uh, on the Lady Eagles. We'll be back with more Lady White Face Volleyball on KPAN in 30 seconds. making the trip down to uh, Childress tonight. Right. Yes, indeed. I'm, I'm telling you, our fans, they are they are phenomenal. They do such a great job supporting our kids. And Lady Whiteface's lead set three, but we're down two sets to none. 19-11, our score right now. Decatur goes into the block and uh, gets it through. Point for the Lady Eagles. Cut the lead to 19-12. Seems like she serves a lot. Gentry yes, Lemmer. It does, doesn't it? You got a good front row up there for Decatur right now. Coach Forster yelling out instructions. First year coach for Decatur after uh, several years for the White Faces. Serve is long. That'll be uh, the point for Herford. 20 to 12. Lead by eight. Set three, down to zero. Back row, here we go, quick back set. Goes over the block and down the near sideline. That's good. 20 to 13, the score. Yeah, there wasn't much we could do about no, that, that one. That no. was just, like you said, over the top of the block. My goodness. Serve on the far sideline. Aven set at the antenna to Bonnie V. Hale. And they call it out. That looked close. It looked really close, didn't it? 20 to 14. Again, serve pass to Avon. Back set to Davis. Played up. And Diego gets it across. Decatur puts it in the net. And uh, the corner guy had the call. They give us the point. Yeah, Decatur passed the ball outside into the net, but outside of the antenna. Okay, took a, took a while to get play to stop there. Yeah. Point for White Faces, 21-14 now, leading by seven. Here's Palacios with the serve. Takes it to the middle of the back row. Set it up near side, and again, they split that back row defensively, Coach. Yep, we just, we weren't where we needed to be for the block, and we were nowhere near the middle of the court in the back. So point to Cater, 21-15. Ben Zant serves it. Far sideline. Avon set at the far antenna to Watley, and Watley gets the kill. Good reach that time, and a good follow-through. Went over the top, big time. 22-15. A set that the white lady white faces have got to win, and we're in pretty good control right here. Again, they go to the back row. Bonnie tries to dig one out and can't do it. It'll be a point for Decatur. 22 to 16. Let's get this 23rd point here, ladies. And they bring it to Viejo. Set far antenna by Avon to Blair. Out on the far side. Point to Cater, 22-17. Avon back set. Wantley, little drop, played up by Decatur. Near the antenna, they go to the middle of dig by Acosta, but they say she didn't get it. It's on yeah. the floor. Lady Whiteface has got to stop this run now. Coach McCracken's going to take a timeout and try to do just that. 
Our score, Lady Whiteface is 22, Decatur 18, match three. Down by two, we'll be back in 30 seconds. between uh, the number three and number four ranked teams in the state. Right now, the uh, number four ranked team leads two sets to zero, and uh, the white faces are down, but are leading game three, 22-18. Here's a serve from Decatur. Even at the net, throws it over, played by Decatur. Quick set into the block, played back. Aven with the set to Watley. She drops it over. Decatur set to the near side, dug out by there the white faces. Set Blair, far side, goes to the back corner and sneaks it in. No touch, huh? Thought I thought it. I thought she, I thought she got it down. Point goes to Decatur. Wow, 22 to 19. White faces to Blair again in the block in the. Uh, Lady Eagles play it. They will go back row and split Acosta and Viejo again, and uh, they are coming back. 22-20. This happened to us in the first back or set. White face lead has been cut to two. Here's Avon. The Blair cross court. It's too long. 22 to 21. After the white faces led 22-15. We've got another timeout. White face volleyball continues on KPAN in 30 seconds. leading, let's see, probably 12-7 maybe. We extended that lead all the way out to 21-14. Uh, and now we have, uh, the Lady Eagles have cut that deficit to one. We have got to get a score here. Tough ones after timeout. Lady Whitefaces, 22-21. Lead, Watley, back row, played up by Decatur. They'll set near side, go to the middle, we play it. Aven sets Blair far side and it's out. And we are tied at 22 apiece in set three. A must win set for the Lady White Faces after dropping one and two. Here we go. Aven sets Blair far side, blocked by Decatur. Aven again sets Watley. Played on the back row. They'll set it at the near antenna. Brought it down the line that time, kind of a change of what they've normally been doing. Here's the cater. They throw it over, and they have taken the lead 23-22 after being down by as many as eight points in this set. They floated across, played by Palacio. Here we go, behind the 10-foot line. Viejo, Decatur, the near antenna, they go to the middle, played by the Lady White Faces, pass to Blair, thinks it over, 10-foot line, quick set, middle of the net, off the hands of Acosta, and now Decatur leads at 22-24. Wow. Serving for Decatur will be Tate Helton, Drops it right in front of Acosta. We set Blair. She goes in the block. 
We deke it over to Avon. Point Lady Whitefaces. Avon served Hill on the evening. Backs against the wall again, ladies. 24-23. And Acosta will be serving through the back row. Their middle is where they set. Come to the near side. Back to the middle. Played by Acosta. There's Blair. That's going to be over into the block of uh, Avon. And uh, Decatur can't do anything with it. That will tie us up. 24-24. Games one and three looking very similar here. That near antenna, and uh, they kind of go center, but uh, this time they bring it more to the right side. Get the score, 25-24, Decatur lead. Off-speed shot down the line. Tough, tough, tough to run through. Bailey Miller will serve for Decatur. There's the floater, played by Palacios. Pass, so played up by Decatur. Again, they just throw it over, and they give it to Decatur, 26-24, and that will do it for the Lady Whitefaces as they lose in three sets, 20, or 28-26, 25-17, and 26-24. Well, tough old night for the Lady White Faces. That's for darn sure. It is, it's so disheartening when <clears throat> you get some big leads and then you just kind of squash them away, you know. And I, I would have to say probably the thing that the, really the Lady White Faces struggled with the most was just the defensive side of it, the block. And then without a good block, they were ripped in the middle of our backcourt. Right. And uh, that's kind of where we had some uh, problems tonight was uh, the back row in game one that the uh, white faces dropped 28 26 there were five uh, ties in that game again though the white faces led that one at one point 18 to 12 uh, and then Decatur was able to come back tie it up at 19 to 19. We battled back and forth there, ended up tied at 23-23, uh, tied at 24-24, then battled and uh, tied at 26-26, and Decatur finally uh, won the first set, 28-26. Uh, set two pretty much was uh, Decatur most of the way. We did uh, have five ties, the last uh, tie at 11-11, Lead change uh, for Decatur at 12-11, and from there on, they pretty much just rolled and ended up winning uh, set two, 25-17. And then uh, set three, again, uh, much like we said, uh, the first set where we uh, established a pretty good lead, Coach Kitten, but uh, we just weren't able to hold it. No, we really weren't, and, and that's uh... – you know, there were there were times where we got a little tentative on the front row, and I think that's honestly, I think that's because of a good block put up by Decatur. What what we struggled with, our blocks and our defense, Decatur I thought was really strong. I thought they blocked well, and I thought their defense, their backcourt defense in general was really good. But uh, um, picked on some some folks that that got really frustrated, and you can kind of see that frustration and and just what the Lady Whitefaces have done to so many of their opponents with big blocks and big digs and make your opponent a little tentative, uh, we kind of were on the other end of that tonight. We'll be back and wrap up our night from uh, Childress after this two-minute timeout.
the Lady Whitefaces fall out of the UIL 4A state tournament uh, in the regional semifinals in a three-game sweep to uh, Decatur. Uh, again, our scores 28-26, 25-17, and 26-24. Coach, we were hoping maybe for for a return uh, to the state finals or like last year, or at least the state tournament. Oh, gosh, say. heck yeah. I mean, that, that was certainly what these ladies uh, had for a goal as they set out on their season back in the very first part of August. Um, you know, this night's going to sting a while, sure. without a doubt. Yeah. Um, but uh, once once that sting softens just a little bit, I mean, they, they've got so much that they need to be proud of. I mean, it, it, I'm the growth that this group of kids made from the beginning of this season to where they are now, it was just phenomenal, and, and they worked hard. I, I'm, I'm not sure I've ever seen a team that has as good a chemistry, and, and they, they had each other's backs all the time, and, and that was really a, a, a cool thing to watch, and, and not a super emotional team, not a lot of highs, not a lot of lows, um, but uh, just constant growth, and, and uh, boy, it, it's, it'll be it's tough losing stuff. They've done it once and <laughs> this even, season, yeah, and, and that's it, been it. Even though we got swept we weren't dominating. We could we could oh, play absolutely. with that team. And Certainly. You Certainly. almost want to say, "Hey, let's do it again and see what happens." You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a, uh, it's it's a bigger stage than yep. we knew yep. it would be. You what, know, but uh, it's it's. Now, where would this have been if we would have had our regional tournament format? Yeah, typically? no telling. I mean, I don't know how it might have been different. Um, where would that have been though? That would have been in uh, I believe we had it in Abilene okay. the last I, several years. That's what I was yes. saying. I couldn't remember. Yes, Abilene. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So, but but again, it'll it'll taste better, but it's going to take a little a little yep. bit. And and uh, but good good night up front. Tatum Stowe, 18 kills on the evening. Eight by Bonnie Be by Vallejo. Uh, Cameron Blair had six. Four for Lacey Davis. Three apiece for Rainey Aben, Nikola Watley. Um, so good production there. I tell you where we don't where on the stat lines that we don't have a whole lot is blocking. I mean, we typically uh, have more blocks spread out throughout our, our kids, you know, our frontline kids, and we've had than we have tonight. And uh, so that's that's kind of that bitter pill to swallow that and the defense behind the block. Former Whiteface coach Catherine Forster will take her uh, Lady Eagles on to the regional finals to face the Canyon Lady Eagles, who defeated uh, Graham in the uh, earlier contest tonight here in Childress. 25-22, and 25-20, uh, match, uh, match that goes uh, four sets. Any closing comments, Coach? Well, I just, I just want if we could, if we could just give them a message. I just want them, to, I want our kids to understand how proud we are of them. Um, they have represented us so well. They have, they've done every single thing you've ever coached McCracken has asked of them, and. Uh, and done it with great maturity and great class, and and uh, they have represented Hereford and Hereford High School so well. And uh, I, I just uh, give them a big old hug if you see them, and and yep. uh, thank them for what their efforts have been this this season. And uh, we uh, we sure appreciate them, and and we do just think they have represented Hereford well. And a great turnout by uh, Whiteface fans tonight, uh, and for all our Whiteface uh, sponsors. This is uh, Brad Land for Coach Brenda Kitten. Bidding you a good evening from children.